Hello everyone, my name is Bob Mitch and welcome back. I normally do Star Citizen gaming content, but I've got something a bit different today. As you can probably tell by the title, I've had a delivery. So this, if you can see it with its wonderful Kovalex sticker on the bottom here, which is a lovely touch I didn't notice until uh, I saw a picture of one of the other guys being delivered on the Discord today, is a JR Designer Fabrication model. It's an Anvil Carrack Expedition. Um, I'm sorry if this video quality isn't going to be brilliant because I don't really have a setup for doing an unboxing thing. It's not normally something I do, but I really wanted to do one of this, so I've been really looking forward to it. So this is the intro. I'm just going to move the camera around a bit because I've got a bit of a jank setup here, um, and then I'll get started. So back in a moment. Right then, I'm going to get straight into this. So after I've scribbled out the details here because I'm a moron and I'm going to have to blank them in the other video, in the intro video, um, this is a... JR Design and Vilkarak Expedition. So this is the first model I've bought from these guys. Um, two main reasons for that. First, because if you saw the intro video and it's weird kind of setup, I live on a boat, so I don't have a fantastic amount of room for things like models and such like that. So the one I did get, or the one or two that I'm gonna get have to be special. Um, and two, mainly because of a ship preference. Um, the ships that they do or have done have been great so far. I've had on looking at them and seeing them at CitizenCon 2019, but they're not my personal preference of ship. The Carrack, though, however, is. So I'm going to get straight into this and crack it open, hopefully without injuring myself in the process. So if you've seen my videos in the past, you'll know that I um, I love 3D printing models. So I have 3D printed ships in the past. Um, my videos in such have been the Reclaimer. So I did a giant reclaimer that have I have since given away. Uh, how do I actually get into this? Oh, there we go. Now I see it. Um, and I've done an 890, which I was kind of hoping to have for this video, um, but it's in storage at the minute because all of my stuff, well, a lot of my stuff is in storage. Oh no, there's packing beads. This is going to be an accident waiting to happen on here. Oh dear. It's a box in a box with packing beads. Oh, I'm going to have to take these out and put them down somewhere. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, packing beads everywhere. There's some things in here. What's in here? I'm trying to dig everything out that I may have missed. I'm sorry you can't see much. <laughs> there we go. Right. JR Design and Fabrication. Hello Adam, happy Halloween, good luck on all your expeditions. <laughs> so yes, my name is Adam, if you haven't already realised, Bob Mitch, yes. And that's from Leela, who I think is Cal's daughter if I remember, so writing a lovely little note on the back. JRDF is a small company and we have the best customers, so thank you very much for your support, because of loyal customers like you that we are growing. So if you don't know JR Design and Fabrication, like I said, they do these models, um, They've done several so far. I'm going to put links in the description and bubbles and things so that you guys can click on them. Please go and give them your love if you're into Star Citizen. So, we've got a decal sheet, I think this is. Yep, water slide decals on how to, so help on how to approve decals, which I'm going to need because this is the first miniature that I've attempted in 20 years since my original um, Games Workshop Warhammer days. And that's an order note. So, Carrack Expedition. Why have I bought this one? Because I have a Carrack. Um, my Carrack is very special to me on Star Citizen, not because it's just a Carrack. Um, I didn't pledge for my Carrack. My Carrack was given to me by CIG for volunteering at CitizenCon 2019, where I did meet JR and Kaltz of JRDF. I doubt they'll remember me, because um, they had a very, very mad period, and uh, I imagine they spoke to a lot of people. I know I spoke to Cal's about the Arrow for a while, the Arrow model they do, and I spoke to JR about the mayhem he had uh, creating the Daymar Rally trophies. So, we'll go and have a look. My Carrack, I originally, well, it is a Carrack, but I managed to get it upgraded to the Expedition CCU that I held on for ages after lots and lots and lots of pleading um, through support when we were able to name our ships, I managed to get it unlocked. So I'm just going to show off the box art here because I know that that's something that people might want to see. So 
got the uh, the main concept art on here. I think these were done uh, like by the community, so like Haskahar, and I really can't remember the name. I know it begins with R. It's really going to bother me. That is who's done the other screenshots for them. I've got a certificate or rather a hologram of authenticity if my horrible webcam will focus and information on the back about the resin prints so like I said I've done 3d prints my 3d prints have been good for the the little printer that I had but they are nowhere near going to match the quality of the resin models that these guys can do as you will see so let's get into it shall we Oh, that's cool. So, another fun thing about these guys is when you order a model, you can have your box laser engraved by earning their, I think they call them JREX, so you can order to have your box engraved. I managed to get one of the first 10 models, so I got 7 out of 500, so it was engraved with my name. I was going to, you could sort of pick the text you wanted to have here, and I was tempted to put my character's name, which is no fixed abode. Um, but I thought, no, we'll go for the, the channel name and my character name because it's a bit more personal. So I'm going to open this upside down for me so you guys get the better view. I've seen the videos that uh, JR has done on YouTube and such for this. So uh, I sort of know what to expect, but I'm still very giddy about looking at it in the flesh. So lovely magnetic box. And we have our... Our fantastic envelope. So there's been lots of comments on. Oh, and thank you for your support. Upside down for me. So Tropus, Rui, yeah, wrong way for me, but you guys get the idea. So these guys have shown how they sort of scaled up in quality of how they do everything. So before it wasn't fancy envelopes and uh, heat sealed booklets that they had before. So yes, is there's a lot of love goes into these, which you can see. So we have our certificate of authenticity. Hopefully the camera is going to focus on that. Try this is there we go. This certifies that your Anvil Carrack Expedition Kit is an original, licensed and limited merchandise from JR Design and Fabrication. And it has another hologram sticker, which is probably not going to focus very well. Come on, webcam. No, it's not going to do it. That says seven out of five hundred. So 007, I got the James Bond model of the uh, Carrack Expedition. There's lots of memes on the uh, stream about changing the names of characters and things to James Bond if you've got the 007 model, but I'm sorry, I really like mine. <laughs> so, the heat sealed. Much fuss was made about a heat sealed manual rather than just a piece of A5 cardboard with some simple instructions on it, but it is fantastic and the quality is really, really nice. So, I'm not going to go through all of this on here. Um, I'm just going to flick through quickly so it gives you some information. So it's instructions, so tutorials, where to go to get them, and how to glue and or magnet, because all of this works with magnets, the Karak together so you have a completed model. And lots and lots and lots of gorgeous sheets of screenshots, and I believe there's lore in here as well. So there's, there's so much information about what to do and check out fabrication. Right, let's get to the meaty bit, the bit I'm really looking forward to. So, let me move the little board a bit here. Thank you for your support. Oh, that looks pretty. It, it's been cool seeing sort of the evolution of this thing on the streams, but actually seeing it up close and personal now is very cool. So, we've got, I think I can just take this out, can't I? they were doing on the stream although I've got to be very careful I don't jiggle things around too much so I'll go with the piece I've picked up first so these are turrets I really really hope my webcam is going to focus on these or focus on certain bits I know it's not going to like doing much so we've got our turrets I may have to get my uh, other camera out on my phone and just add some stills of everything so that people can see it so Six turrets, which seems strange, you may think, because the Karak only has two side-mounted turrets, but it's so we can change them in different positions. So uh, we've got like a, a, a setback, uh, an armed, or sort of sideways pointing one, and then I believe JR described it as a cack-angled one, sort of facing up for a more kind of action-like pose. 
here we have a ramp. So this is the ramp and antenna, a various antenna, I think. And that includes the, the swing arms that fly out when this thing goes into jump drive, which we have not yet seen because obviously that's not in the alpha yet. These are sort of the start of the cool pieces, which give some indication of this thing's size compared to my giant man hands. So we've got transparent thrusters. Um, I believe there's also non-transparent ones in there as well. I could be wrong. Um, but these are transparent if you want to use light kits and light the model up, which I may do. I don't know yet. As I said, this is my first model and I want to take my time on it. So this is a stand, I believe. So just a, a transparent stand. We have clear red resin. So this is for the various windows in the ship. So this is um, dyed resin so that we can have the windows to match. Being an expedition, of course. Oh, there we go. Yep, there's the, uh, the, the non-transparent engines if you don't want to use light kits. Magnets. Magic magnets, no one knows how they work, so lots and lots and lots of little magnets and not so many lots of large magnets to help you do the model. If you don't, if you've not got the experience of doing one of these or you haven't seen uh, JRDF's models before, they, um, they're they made to assemble for diorama kits so that you can have the cargo bays open, you can have the ramp down, there's little Pisces and uh, a little Ursa rover in here that we'll get to in a moment. Ah, the magnets keep sticking. I need to separate them. So yeah, dyed resin for the various windows that are on board the ship. I think this is the stand's base. The Carrack stick that was described to us <laughs> in the streams. So this is to, oh, it's got a little JRDF logo on it. Look at that, that's kind of cute. Um, so this is to help with assembly. So to help you fish out or place and remove magnets that you need to uh, as to do with the kit as you may find it difficult this is so much cooler to look at in person that's really really cool so I'm, I'm really sad that my webcam is not gonna pick this up in the detail that it should be but this is obviously if you know the Carrack this is the bridge um, I really really want it to focus but I don't think it's gonna focus that close up no. So this is the bridge. This is a 3D printed resin model of the bridge and the um, mezzanine deck and even the little chairs and everything is in, are in there, which is awesome. And then it's set back into a mold that they have injected with dyed resin. So it has the pink or red, depending on your preference, uh, bridge for the Carrick. So. That, that is really, really, really cool to look at. Uh, the little globes in there on the globe table, that's awesome. That is. This is also, I'll make a note that I know JR made in the stream. You can see that it's got the transparent back on both decks. Again, if you want to use a light kit, so you can light the ship from the inside for your dioramas and such. We'll go down to the next level. Oh, I left a, uh, I left a piece in this... Uh, first set so I left this and I think these are closed cargo bays I believe or cargo bay doors I may be wrong they look cargo bay -y. I'm gonna have to dig in the manual to find out it looks like they're doors because the cargo bays are just here so next bit we'll leave that to one side this is as you can see is the main meat and potatoes of what's going on here so we've got stands again I think so this one it might not show up on the webcam very well unless I can catch the light there we go that one's got an anvil logo laser etched onto it that's very cool this one is, I think is the main base so again I'm gonna have to try and catch the light with this it's backward for you guys unfortunately this is star citizen very very cool I'm gonna have to put this on this side so I don't mix the various sides up on this base, oh, I can take this out, can't I? On this side, we have one set of winglets. So the, I'd call them the winglets. I don't know if they have other names. I've always just referred to them as winglets. And 
now I'm getting into the big pieces. I'm sort of starting to see the the level of attention to detail in the prints. So it's really hard to make it out on the webcam and in the light that I've got in here. But the the model detail in this is amazing. The 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 difference from my rubbish in comparison 3D prints to what these have come out like is amazing. So we have another set of winglets. Um, I can't remember if this is for redundancy, if you break them, or if these have another purpose. Then, um, I think, or they could be for one landed and one in flight. I know I'll probably get corrected or scolded. Either way, in here we have landing gear. I believe so. This is giant character feet. Oh, it was sticky on the bottom. Did you glue this into the bottom, guys? <laughs> this is all sticky. I don't know what's that in there. All the excitement going on of uh, getting these things shipped out because I know it's been an episode, shall we put it that way. And in here, this is cargo bays and the main launch bay door, I believe. Is that the launch bay door? I'm not 100% sure. There's a, there's a giant bay that it's not big enough for the hangar. I'll figure it out. Anyway, yeah, so cargo base, which are all open-ended at the minute, as you can see. You can see in the top here, this is where your magnets go. So you can detach these as you want once you've finished painting them and such. And then you've also got an open one here, which you can just see the uh, the decking inside. So what you walk through when you walk in the carrack. So they're really cool. Again, the detail on them for the resin print is fantastic compared to what I was able to accomplish with a 3D printer. I'll sit you back inside. Oh, there's the hangar bay door. So here we've got the hangar bay door for the top of the hangar bay, which is here, obviously. And the garage door, so the front door that you drive your rover up. Not sure what those bits are for, unless they're supports for one of the other parts. Again, I'm going to need to dig in and properly, properly have a look. And last but not least is the two main pieces which makes this thing so cool i have to admit when i was seeing jr handle it on stream it didn't look that big um for a one to 500 scale and even though i've printed a fair few ships now it's still really cool it's still gonna be easily 25 30 centimeters long which is fantastic i'm holding that the wrong way like a burke it's uh, not going to sit like that, obviously, because of all the supports. But you can see that it's still pretty sizable. And it will fit in here, which is amazing, because <laughs> I don't have lots of space. So, we'll sit that back a second. So, this is the front end. And you can see that, to, well, apart from all the support structure, which, I, which I've got to pry off, um, which is not hard from what I've seen and what I've been discussing and such, um, you can see that it's all hollow so again you can fit light kits and cell batteries and things like that in here if you want to light this thing up and everything inside is detailed so again I'm really sad that I can't show this on this webcam again I may have to take some more pictures with my better camera um, that just shows the level of detail in here uh, and how much detail you can get if you want to take the time to turn this into a big diorama set like a big carrack landing site or offloading a rover or something along those lines. Speaking of, I haven't found my rover unless uh, it's buried underneath somewhere. Oh no, it's not buried underneath, it just fell out. I'll go over that in a moment. Let me stick that back in. And then the, the carrack arse end. So there's our engine slots. Again, you can see completely hollow inside the model so if you want to light them up you can do and then sadly I can't get the detail on here again but it looks incredible it, the, the sort of the inside of the scanning deck here um, looks fantastic and I'm trying to find for the sort of comparison what I like to see so the sort of thing where the windows would go in the top of the scanning deck 
So on top of deck four, which is up here, where all the transparent resin, so all this stuff would sit. I genuinely can't wait to start building this thing. It's going to be like my little winter slash Christmas project. And then learning to paint all over again and hopefully not hash it up. So, yeah, it looks it looks incredible. I love it. <laughs> Definitely very, very, very impressed with this. So I'll, I'll get the models out just to show those off. So very last but not least piece. Again, diorama pieces if you want them. So you've got the four turrets, so the remote turrets sticking out either side. You have an adorable little Ursa rover poking out this end. And then you also have two adorable little Pisces on a 1 to 500 scale, which makes them look tiny, as it does with the rover. Um, you have one landed, which is this one, because I can see all the landing gear. And then you have one in flight, so you could stick it around the diorama somewhere if you wanted all again printed out and there's a resin so you can see the insane detail and i'm gonna to have to make a focus of this when i try and take some better pictures of these things but i can see the turret on the side of the ursa folded down to the side as this these two tiny little things sticking up like this it's adorable <laughs> that's brilliant Look. Really? That's fantastic. So, in a nutshell, that's been the Karak from JRDF or the Anvil Karak Expedition. They do do a normal Karak model. I'm gonna, you're gonna watch me mess all this up now as I try and place it all back. Um, they do two versions of this. So, because there's the Karak and the Karak Expedition, you can get separate models. This obviously is the Karak Expedition. Um, there is also the normal Karak. The only difference between the two is this and this. So if you buy the normal Karak and not the Expedition, the cockpit is blue, as is the injected resin that's been dyed. So if you buy the other Karak, then you get the blue resin. That's the only difference between them. I cannot remember where all this went, and I'm going to look an idiot now. Um, I will leave links in the description for JRDF because I want you to go and give them all the love and I want you to go and buy their models mainly because I'm selfish and if I don't give Jaron from the Jump Club a shout out he might get angry. Um, we all want an 890 model. <laughs> so an 890 Jump model. But we know that they would have to invest a serious amount of funds and such to be able to make them because it's a big, big stretch for what they need to do. I'm actually getting this right, I think. I'm getting this right. Um, so yes, please, 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 go and visit their site, go and buy their models. Give them all the love, because they're a fantastic bunch of guys. They've worked so hard to get where they are with these things now, and get them all built. So, please, 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 I'm, I'm, I give up on this and I'm gonna just close this so it looks neat and tidy for the end of the video. <laughs> Yeah, go and go and buy a Karak. Go and buy the Arrow. They also do the Arrow. They do the Drake Cutlass, although that's not a kit model. That's just a diorama model. So there's kit models, which are buildable ones, such as these. And then there's diorama models, so you can make model sets and um, little display sets if you want to use terrain and things like that. Uh, they're doing a Mercury Star Runner for that soon. Um, what are the details? Because I know I'm just waffling now. But yeah, please go and give them some love and buy their stuff because they're going to continue to make more models. And if we want the more complicated models, such as the 890 Jump, which I want, even though it'll probably bankrupt me for a fair while, um, and especially things like the Idris and Capital Ships, especially at a 1 to 500 scale, because that's the important bit, um, they are going to need to invest a little more infrastructure and how they design and make their models. So we have to show that we want them. and. To do that, you have to buy the models. Um, I would add one more footnote on for buying the models on their website. So they had their own soft launch for these, so for Carrack and the Carrack Expedition. And as you can see, there's 500 of each, so there's a thousand in total. 
They had their own soft launch where they had a cool countdown on their website and such, but as of yet, there's been no official RSI newsletter, so no official gubbins that have gone out on the RSI site yet. I would expect and I hope that when it does happen and they say, we've got a carrot model now, people will flock to buy them and they will fly off the shelves. And uh, the, the rate they did on JR's own launch night, um, I would expect these ones to go pretty quickly because with the gibboning that happened around the carrot and how popular these things are, I can take or I can say from my own experience that as I think JR once put it, there's nothing like having your own spaceship that you can have and put on your shelf and such. So there's going to be a lot of people that want Carex and they're going to be very popular. So if you want one of these and you like the look of it and you like miniatures and painting and such and dioramas, or maybe if you just want to keep it on a shelf somewhere, um, I would advise getting one sooner rather than later because I do think these are going to fly once the official notification for them goes out. So there we go. Carrot model, 25 minute video. I think I've made this long enough to uh, keep you all here and keep you bored. Thank you, JRDF. Thank you, uh, JR and Cals and Leela for the little note. Um, I'm really looking forward to building this thing. I hope I can do some little progress video on it of me destroying your fantastic model with my poor fabrication skills. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. So thank you very much for watching. Go and visit their website go and buy their models, go and buy the last of their arrows because I know they haven't got very many of those left and give them the ability to make some more fantastic stuff. Thank you very much. I will see you next time.